I wasn't even supposed to sing that song. Wow. We were at odds at that time, and I told Jermaine and everybody else that I'm not singing anymore. I'll just do the backgrounds, because it was a lot of, why is she singing on everything? She's singing on every song. Y'all trying to set her up. So I said, I don't want to hear the song or nothing. So we went, and Joe wrote that song, the singer Joe. Joe Thomas. I was in New York. Y'all know Joe, right? Yeah. Come on now. All the things. Mm -hmm. so I want to know. I went know. into the studio. <laughs> yeah, I went in the studio, and then um, all I knew was... He played the record and just the background. So we went in and did the background parts. And then after that, um, he was like, um, who wants to do the lead? So I'm like, I'm not singing nothing. So Candy went in first. And then she stayed in there for like four hours. And he came out. And he was like, that's not the sound that I'm looking for. That's not what I want. I don't, it's too hard. It's too rough. Y'all shady out here. I don't so appreciate I promise, it. I'm telling a real story. It's the truth. It's my truth. And. And then Tiny was like, I'll go in there and try it. So she went in and tried it. <laughs> I can't make this up. <clears throat> so she went, in and, she went and tried it, and I sat outside for hours and hours and hours, and I kept thinking if Jermaine was here right now, he would cuss all of us out and say, y'all costing a lot of money. And so um, Joe comes back out. He was like, it's still not what I'm looking for. It's too, like, nasally. I need, I need a little something. <laughs> So I was like, I'm not singing. So he tells Rocky, like, why, she, why, why are your wife not going to sing her song? And so he takes him to the side and tells him what's going on. He was like, who cares about that? When I work with SWV, Coco's the one that does mostly everything. So what does it matter? They get paid the same. And so um, he said, I want to try you in the studio. Would you just come in? I looked at the girls. I was like, this is costing us money. We got to go. I got to go in there. So they actually left me up there. And I went in the studio. I was sick. I was pregnant with my son. Um, I went in the studio and I just said, it's a glowing and a feeling like a summer sun that slowly rises. He was like, girl, now why in the world would you sit out there for all these hours without coming out? I said, but you have no idea. And it, he made me do the whole song. I didn't even know the song. So yeah, that, that, that was real. Baby, won't you come inside? jokes in me, so I should just gave me a headache, I'm not even sure if I really want to put this on the video, but because I'm just so honest and so real, I just might have to keep it, but what I will say, before I go lay in my bed, because it's definitely calling me, okay, my bed is calling for me. He hit my pillows, calling for me. Mm-mm. R. Kelly. Mm-mm. Rocky Bivens. All right. Anyway. Yes. What was I saying? Tasha. La Toxic. Okay. La Toxic. Okay. You see my you on a smear campaign? I, I heard nothing in this. I'm pretty sure y'all talked about your album or whatever, but it was just giving shade. It was just giving... Shay, the shade. You all talking about tiny nasally and I mean Candy couldn't do it four hours. You knew the exact time she went in and out the booth. Like everybody. Like we all know you is the number one best singer. We know that. Just like we all know you aren't the prettiest. That's just what it is. So, with that being said, we understand this is why people overcompensate by, and like, somebody pointed out, one of the bloggers is like, every clip, every time Latasha walked into the room, they was like, oh, Tasha looks so nice, looks so nice, looks so nice, looks so nice. You never hear Latasha telling other people that they look nice. So, it was like, it made me feel like people just always try to, like, butter up to her. By telling her, oh, you look cute, you look cute, you look cute. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, some people don't have to do a lot and still be pretty as hell. Also, I feel like I've listened to about two or three of these songs that's going to be on this album. 
And I kind of feel like she's singing love songs to God. So it's giving like, are you really singing these to God, but low-key kind of singing to your husband? Because I, I don't know. I get a weird vibe from that song. I don't, I, I don't know. I, I, it, it was giving horny gospel. Like, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> God forgive me. I'm sorry, but that's the energy I was get. I was feeling. It was like horny gospel, and I'm like, what is this? Like, girl, no. Put out an R and B. That's where your heart at. Like, you feel me? Drop rock. Then, listen, your motivation is the husband. He is the the downfall. Okay, I understand you want to go by the Bible. Some things gonna work out. You chose the wrong one. She will have the biggest, strongest comeback if she actually took some time away from her husband, got her own mind and thoughts together, got back to, to the who Latasha truly is, you know? Realize that she deserves more and better and go from there. Like, you know? I think the master manipulation is at an all-time high with her. And she might have never really had nobody speak that kind of stuff. Like, you, you know, in, in order to have her trained like this, this is years of manipulation. So in her mind, she's probably thinking he really loves her because she never had nobody else, you know, uplift her as he does. But... He's only actually doing it. Yeah, he possibly did really do love her. But it, it's not enough to stop messing with all these side chicks. You know what I'm saying? It's not enough. It's not enough. Like, because if you look at that single, what is the name of this single? Hold on. Let me Google this single. Okay. I Googled it. And like I said, it's called Stay With Me. She on, she on almost a half a minute. So the, the controversy and all the, you know what I'm saying, it got the numbers doing what the numbers are supposed to do. So, you know what I'm saying, kudos to her on that level. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, you're in looking like a wedding dress. You're talking about Stay With Me. It's the name of the song. Girl, girl, it's giving dun, 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 dun. Dum, 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 Like, get a divorce. I'm sorry. I don't even be, like, putting that kind of energy out in the world. But it's just too many dots, okay? Girl, I'm, 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 I cannot. I cannot, Tasha. La toxic. I cannot. I really want to. To get all the stars, spangles, and the banners that you want. Because you you, you just, you raining on Tiny in my, and Candy Parade. You been, your sister been under your shadows. And everybody want to blossom and be their own flowers, okay? It's your time. Go ahead. Let it shine. Let your little light shine, queen. Okay? Because we here for it. And we support you. You did. But what you need and must do. Is let go of this rock a rock a bobby. You gotta get rid of this. You gotta get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? You will definitely come back so much stronger and so much harder if you come to your group like, listen, I was tripping, blah, blah, blah. you dig, it's not working out, I didn't know all of this, blah, blah, blah. even if you was in it. You dig, you, this is when you supposed to be like, okay, <laughs> Let me clean my, let me wash my hands because your hands is dirty over there. You did, even if I, like, I don't, I, I won't even move like that. But if I did move like that and I was in that situation, I would straight be like, you know what? I didn't know. We need to do something about this. Da -da -da -da. I, I plead the fifth, but, uh, you know, <laughs> What, not, no, what is it, so you don't get alimony? Yeah, you already got infidelity. She got an easy, this is the, listen, 
the side pieces just gave you your get out of jail free card. So like, get with the front. Like, come on, y'all from Alice Park. Like, girl, get it together. Get into like y'all start getting bread and y'all forget the y'all hood. But then you start adding food and it, it, candy. Don't really, listen. Uh, can, shout out to candy PR people because. When them cameras not on, candy hood. I got a little candy compilation coming up. Because everybody got their little versions of how candy act. And I thought this shit was so funny. So, when I, that's going to be my next video tomorrow. I'm going to upload that. Because I'm sorry, I can't. I, I didn't even want to do it this long. But I, I just had to get it off my chest. Because one of my subscribers was like asking me, did I see this? And then somebody else has sent emailed me, and I'm like, oh, I guess they want me to talk about this little video. But she just keep she giving me migraines like Tasha. And then I, I guarantee you, her husband somewhere like you on a stage with four dudes, like <laughs> girl, then your video, like I said, you look like you in a wedding dress, trying to marry Jesus, like ah, ah, I, I, I can't. I, I gotta, I gotta go to sleep. I, I cannot. I cannot. What I can wait is to this phone call. That's what I can. And hopefully tomorrow I'ma find out with that J Hood appearance from the other video I posted. I need to update myself and the viewers on um when was that done because these last little receipts from these last, you know. They, how they basically record months and then they edit it and then it actually comes out and we see it. So, of course, it's not the same time frame. But in my head, in my head going off of what they've been saying, this is why every time a new episode come out, they all jumping on live, adding their 50 cent and everything to it, you know? And the saddest part about this all is that Escape got so much stuff going on that SWV is like, you kind of forgetting that they even on the show. Like, I, I kind of sitting here realizing that I got a thousand SWV, um, I'm sorry, I got a thousand escape pictures and videos and got two or three little things of Tots. Like, I wanted to go into Tots being on Survivor, like, I remember when she was on Survivor, she said she had just had her son, so, of course, that was so long ago, because he's so big, like, he ready to go to college, so, you know, I wanted to get, I wanted to dive into that, I wanted to get into a lot of different other things about the other groups, with Lily and her little erotic books, and, um, I wanted to see what's going on with Taj, and, I mean, not Taj, uh, Coco, she's having some kind of like mental um, situations. I don't know if they're, she got diagnosed with bipolar. So, you know, I wanted to go a little in depth with like, you know, what kind of um, mechanism she used. And I see like, she said something about she didn't have her medicine or whatever. So I guess she was having a bad day that day. <laughs> that girl was like, I ain't had my medicine. I said, ooh. Okay, I'm off of here, honeybees. Uh, I'll see y'all on the other side. <laughs> Entertainment TV. Miss Honey Bun. Miss Honey Bun. Miss Honey Bun. Entertainment TV. <laughs> Back at it again. Back at it again. Like that.